how to use a digital elevation model in global mapper to get this kind of photo shade as a final result in ArcGIS. This is what we are going to learn in this tutorial. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So after opening global mapper, the first thing that we are going to do is to import our digital elevation model. To do this, click on data files and then import your digital elevation from your folder. So in my case, my digital elevation model is a 12.5 meters resolution, which I downloaded from Alaska satellite facility. If you want to know how to get this digital elevation model, you can watch my video on how to download it from directly and for free from the from this website. So to get our watershed, we will go ahead and click on this button anal analysis and then click on generate watershed. Here you can specify the stream seal count. I will put 100. I will just keep everything to default. So here you can specify uh, the area that you want global mapper to create watershed in it. You can specify to all the data or all data visible on screen. You can zoom in your interested area you can zoom in your area of interest and then create watersheds only in this area or you can directly enter your latitude and longitude for your area of interest for me i will just click on draw a box and i will choose to create my water sheets right here this is just to simplify the calculation process then I will click OK, then OK. So now Global Mapper is creating watershed. I'll just wait until the operation ends. So as you can see, Global Mapper created watersheds in the specified area. The beautiful thing about Global Mapper is you can export your watersheds as, for example, a ship file. This is what I'm going to do. So to export this watersheds, all I'm going to do is I'm going to file and then click on export. Then click on export vector leader format. And I can specify that I want to export my watershed as a file. Then click OK. Because my watershed are lines, I will click on export lines. Specify what I want to save your ship file and then click save then click ok after that open agis software for my case i'm using arcgis click on add data Nav navigate to the folder where you saved your watershed as a ship file and then click on it then click add as you can see we have imported our ship file our watershed as a ship file now we can do further analysis using your favorite GIS software, for my case is ArcGIS. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribe to the GeoCarto channel if you want to get more like this tutorials.